So you've just arrived in Vancouver and you need to figure out how to get around the city by public transit. Determine whether you will be using transit a lot or only occasionally. If you're only using it a few times, you can just buy single paper fares as you go by cash or credit card, or just tap the card readers with your credit card or mobile wallet and it will charge you automatically. If you're going to be using transit more often, you might want to get a reloadable compass card. Blue cards are for adults, orange concession cards are for those from ages 5 to 13 or those over 65. You can get these cards at any SkyTrain, Seabus or West Coast Express station, as well as some London drugstores. Load the cards at the machines using cash, debit or credit card. You can also load them online using Visa or MasterCard. You can load them with however much you'd like and be charged fares automatically as you go. Single fares are cheaper when you use the compass card versus buying a paper fare. You can also load the card with the day pass, which allows unlimited travel for the day across all zones, or a monthly pass, which allows unlimited travel for that month based on how many zones you need. Note that if you ever travel across more zones than what your monthly pass includes, you will be charged an ad fare on the additional zone. So if you already have some stored value on your card, it will cover the cost. A single fare or ticket is valid for 90 minutes of unlimited travel or transfers starting the moment you tap in. When you travel by bus, it is all one zone. With all other modes of travel, note how many zones you're traveling across. After 6.30pm on weekdays and all day on weekends and holidays, everywhere becomes one zone pricing. So now that you have your card or ticket, how do you use it? On buses, just tap in with your card or ticket, no need to tap out since it's all one zone. Note that if you pay by cash on the bus, you will get a bus transfer, which you can use to transfer to any other bus within the 90 minute period. But if you transfer to SkyTrain or SeaBus, you need to upgrade to a compass ticket or a card to tap in. On SkyTrains and the SeaBus, you must tap in and out at the gates for it to calculate the zones you've traveled. The readers will turn green with a check mark and beep so you know that it has gone through. Apart from the regular buses, there are also B-Line buses, which are express bus lines. They don't make as many stops as the regular buses that may be running between the same two points. Next, we have the SkyTrains. We have three main lines, the Expo Line, Millennium Line, and Canada Line. When traveling away from downtown on the Expo Line, pay attention to the destination of the train if you are traveling beyond Columbia Station, where the trains will split off in different directions. The same applies if you are traveling away from downtown on the Canada Line, beyond Bridgeport Station, where the trains also split off in different directions. Then we have the C Bus. This travels between Vancouver and North Vancouver, departing every 15 minutes. It leaves from Waterfront Station and arrives at Lonsdale Quay, which connects you to buses on the North Shore. Lastly, we have the West Coast Express. This train travels between Waterfront Station and Mission City. Most tourists won't need to use this. You're almost all set! A few more things to know. The new tap to pay function allows you to tap in and out gates with your credit card or mobile wallet, so make sure you tap the card you want charged and not just a wallet with multiple cards in it. If you would like to return your compass card for a refund at the end of your trip, you can either go to the office at Stadium Chinatown Station or the West Coast Express office at Waterfront Station. Don't forget you can use Google Maps to figure out which routes to take. Have fun in Vancouver!